So the copium around the streets is just absolutely insane. I don't understand the X Defined fanboys. I don't understand the Call of Duty fanboys. Everybody's like fighting around. Don't you guys want a good game though? Like the video if you just want a good game. Dislike the video if you don't want good games apparently because that's kind of like what I'm seeing right now. I also do want to talk about Black Ops 6 in this video because apparently they're talking about this September 2001 situation. <laughs> got the picture right in front of your screen though yay i made a dedicated video which i will link you towards the end but in this video i also do want to talk about this but right now we even have this uh, uh biden looking guy right blaine truth we got this uh, uh justin trudeau looking dude uh, eight thoughts Bruh. eight thoughts from canada right biden i, I mean blaine truth from us both of them are gaslighting each other i'm like why guys y'all need to t make a temporary truce but check this. in my God, I have seen the worst, the absolute worst X Defiant okay. takes I think I've ever seen this past we weekend. And, and I'm, I'm here to kind of be a turbo nerd this video. Normally, you guys like to come here because, I, I don't know, I talk smack on Call of Duty, and I will be doing that this video somewhat, but there, there was a time... Somewhat, my guy. You do that every day, bro. You do that, I mean, every video. You do that, bro. What are we talking about, bro? You do that every video. You do that every video. Eight thoughts, uh, Justin Trudeau, if you're watching this video, I have to agree with you on that one that he hates every day on that part i agree on that part i agree but let's uh see way what else. back in the day before i started ranting about call of duty and how shit it, it became oh, where i go. talked yeah. about the more nerdy aspects of call of duty we're gonna be doing that in this video as it pertains to x defiant i have about 12 hours of playtime now been playing most of the weekend mostly solo because i wanted to see what the solo experience was like because that's, that's actually how i prefer playing my games. I don't know if I'm just weird there, but like I like to hop on multiplayer games, like team games, and play solo and see how it feels. And uh, I think this game yeah, feels pretty same, good solo. Same, now you're not gonna same. win as much and as often as you would with a party, even a few friends. But if you just want to hop on and shoot stuff, I think it's fun. It's a very okay. team-oriented game, though. So uh, the lack of SBMM helps in this regard. Like you can kind of pop off even with yeah. bad teammates. And, and right now, some people are saying after playing X Defiant with no skill-based matchmaking, we need skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> Yeah, some people are saying that I want to know your thoughts like the video if we should get no skill based matchmaking even in Call of Duty Dislike the video if you think skill based matchmaking actually save video games. Yeah, skill based matchmaking good I want to know where you at but wait for it. Let's cut to the chase, bro Let's cut it's to which the chase. I do enjoy and you're kind of gonna see that in this video, but cut I, I digress chase, I chase, want bro. to cover the opinions I have seen about X Defiant and how I, I do love the dev team I love Mark Rubin for being so um, open with us so so honest with us and communicating with us every yeah. single step of the way and taking our feedback into account but there needs to be a certain point where the devs and mark rubin say guys this is a bad idea and we don't want to do it and um i, I don't know man I, I fear that there's gonna be too many people shouting different things and the yeah. devs might go he's just gaslighting eight thoughts bro Bruh. what the hell why are you always trying to gaslight my man justin trudeau uh, uh eight thoughts bruh he calls you the clown father. Is that why you're trying to gaslight my man? In a different direction. I think they need to be grounded in this regard. Normally with Call of Duty, I'd say like, hey, give them suggestions because those devs don't really know what they're doing. <gasps> but with X Defiant, I feel like they actually know what they're doing. He just did it again. He gaslighting my man. He gaslighting Aethos right now. He gaslighting Aethos right now, bro. And the game in its current state, like if I'm just being honest here, I played about yeah. 12 hours now, played most of the weekend. I'd give the game in its current state, honest to, to God, right hand to God, about an 8 out of 10 right now. <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. And it's not perfect. There are some issues. Oh, but that no. doesn't take away the fact that I fucking enjoy it. I enjoy it so much, I've been talking about it a lot on Twitter because I'm actually excited to have a good fucking game again. And I'm sorry. But people... People are uh -huh. accusing me of uh, getting paid off to, to, to like praise the game or in their words glaze it thoughts if I'm not mistaken we saw his video right because I want to give everybody an equal chance I love like the both opposite I, I like the both extremes right and also it thoughts who apparently went rogue he used to hate on <laughs> he used to hate on Call of Duty Yo, it thoughts if you're watching this video I love you man come bring it in brother bring it in bring it in so what I'm like uh, five seven yeah make fun of me whatever you're like what six uh, feet something after a long day bro like, you're gonna be like uh, you're gonna be wobbling around like that I don't know where I'm at I don't know where I'm at I don't know where that's like you me on the other hand I'll be standing tall bro like I would need like less energy less uh, food consumption a consumption less calories intake I can get stronger and beefier like faster you know what I'm saying like uh, cha -choo -chi -cha -choo. you know what I'm saying uh, learning that martial arts uh, you feel what I'm saying you try to make a joke on me like that the other day yeah it tosses the founder of Call of Duty hate bruh he's the one I'm being real he's the one that started I was like what 
uh, less than 20 years old. I was naive, I was dumb. Hand on top of this bottle of water. I feel like that, you know what, I'm gonna I'm start pointing my fingers right now. I feel like that the reason I started, it's not true, I'm joking around, but I was gonna say, like, the reason I started hating Call of Duty was because of eight thoughts. <laughs> He had like massive impact on my life. He made me a Call of Duty hater, and now my my Führer, now my Führer, the eight thoughts, the eight thoughts. He has become a Call of Duty lover. He loves Call of Duty right now, bro. He loves, he breeds, he loves Call of Duty. He drinks Call of Duty. He eats Call of Duty. He plays. He wake up. He does Call of Duty 24/7. Yeah, bro. He just did a 180 real quick. And now he loves it. So we obviously want to give him a voice as well. And we want to know like what he's thinking. And we did that. And the other day when we saw his review, he was given X Defiant a 2 out of 10. <laughs> uh, he also said 3. He said that 2 or 3. That's what he gave this game. Damn. Damn. And Anthony, blame truth, right, gives this game 8 out of 10. Wow. Is the game. What is it with like the, the new generation? And maybe I'm just getting old here, but I'm going to complain. What is it with these like magic words that just appear overnight and then people hop on the trend and they do nothing but use them constantly? If I have to hear fucking glazing and cooked and based one more fucking time, I'm gonna I'm gonna suplex the person that says it through a table that's on fire. ECW style bitch. I will do it. I will do it. I watch a lot of wrestling. A anyway, guys, uh, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about X Defiant. Uh, so, so you want a candy now? Like, I used to watch WWE a lot. Still, uh, sometimes do. So you want a candy now, bro? And the devs and the game and stuff like that. The Call of Duty player base. I, you're not going to believe the stuff I'm about to uh, show you as far as their go. suggestions for the game goes. And these are people I like. These are people I respect. These are creators. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Some of the worst opinions I have ever seen, and I'm sorry, I, I gotta call a spade a spade, and we're gonna get to that after a brief word from this video. Yeah, 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 before we get down to the climax, real quick, I want to say I have a second channel. This is where we upload UFO content, conspiracy content, every single day. Check out the pinned comment uh, below where you can catch all my YouTube channels, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and also a secret link. Yeah! All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. Hey, all, I wanted to post another video from Exclusive Ace. I've always found him very insightful and honest, which I highly appreciate. This is an important video, and I'll explain why. This is this video is about two of X Defiant's biggest problems right now. Mark goes on to say, first, you don't usually see devs posting videos about what's wrong with their yeah. game, but I think that it's important to listen, acknowledge, Damn. and own these issues. We Damn. want to be a game that lasts for a long time, and to do that, we need to be honest with you and ourselves. And second, I really want to reiterate that we do see all of these comments, and we are working on changes and fixes to improve not only these Love two that. issues, but also many more. Now, the game has been out less than a week, and is doing great, and a lot of people are having a great time, but we also know there are people out there who are having issues as well, and I promise you, you are not- Yo, it thoughts. <laughs> Yeah, he calling you right now. Why? What's up with everybody gaslighting my my man eight thoughts, bro? What's up with everybody uh, gaslighting my man like that? But now on a real though, um, jokes aside, of course I'm joking around, bro. I, I'll nothing but live, man. Now I, I seriously, um, I enjoy blame truth content. I enjoy eight thoughts content. I love everybody, man. Like ser on a real though, no, like no filter right now. I love everybody. I'm joking around. He jokes around and he can joke around as well. Everybody's joking around, right? It's uh, it's video games we talking, so don't take anything too serious. But now on a real though. Uh, I, I, I admire that. I admire the fact that he actually pointed out a negative video. It wasn't even a negative video. I, that's not how I look at it. It's more like constructive criticism. So I'm glad that Mark also took it as that because you guys gotta understand that you might be able to take this as a constructive criticism. Or you might look at it as like objective negative or objective constructive video that Ace did, although I did not watch that video. But to understand this, uh, Mark Rubin is like the head, right, of X Define. And generally speaking, devs don't take it like too well though. Like how many times you have seen Call of Duty acknowledge anything negative, right? You have to scream your lungs off. You have to scream your tits off for them to understand. So the fact that Mark Rubin actually n not even uh, just talked about it, but pointed out the video and then talked about it, uh, uh, that's W. I, I like that. Respect. Re uh, respect, respect, respect. Stop being respect. ignored. Game development takes time, but we are working hard to make the experience great for everyone. Not perfect. That's a pipe dream in a multiplayer game, but at least great. So one of the clips that Ace puts in his video shows a crazy ping spike right before the issue, and you can see the network icons going yellow and red. This okay. is helpful to the team in trying to diagnose, so please, when, if you can, turn on the FPS, ping, and network status icons. So, um, you know, the biggest complaints, if you haven't watched that Ace video, are pretty much the hit detection and the, the connection or whatever. 
and um the bunny hopping in the game. Now, Bruh. I'm gonna get my take Bruh. on this before I get into the Call of Duty hey, yo, player base opinions because <laughs> they are horrendous, and we need to you know have a nice discussion about stuff before I get to that. But uh, the bunny hopping thing, I, I think, needs to be toned down a little bit. But not really like nerfed into the ground, you know. I think that you should be able to evade. Ace explains it in the video. There needs to be like a, kind of a trade-off, you know, uh, for okay. jumping around and stuff. I'm getting better at my jumping and maneuvering and dodging shots and whatnot in this game. Um, and I, I know there is a skill gap there. I don't want to see it go away, but I do want to see it. Yeah, by the time you get used to it, they're just gonna remove it. <laughs> this happens all the time. But here's the and here's the thing, guys. We gotta actually talk about it real quick, okay? Before I forget and before we uh, get to like the next climax, because. Oh, Oh, oh hell yeah, B B. You thought this was climax? Oh hell no! Nah. Get ready for the climax. But a lot of people are uh, are also talking about this uh, September 2001 situation for Call of Duty. They have confirmed Saddam, uh, right? Don't wanna say the full name because we're on YouTube, but I guess you understand, right? They have confirmed Saddam is gonna be in the game. Okay, crazy. I know, I know. But a lot of people are like, hey, so if he's gonna be in the game, are you gonna dress him up as like a Teletoby skin? Because Call of Duty is notorious for BBC bundles, King Kong punches, uh, wacky skins, anime waifus, and Teletoby skins, right? <laughs> we, we had that, right? Like, we had that. So a lot of people are like, hey, I don't think they have the guts to do this. And I, I have to agree. I don't think they have the guts to do it, guys. You know, back in the days when they didn't know Russian, it just sparked like a massive controversy. A and news channels were talking about it. Everybody was just like peeling it back layer by layer as the homie 402 Thunder would say. But the homie 402 Thunder actually kind of peaced out right now, which is kind of sad right now. He uh, only comes and goes, only comes and goes, right? Maybe he's uh, going to take milk. I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know. But but here's the thing. No Russian happened. No Russian happened again in Modern Warfare 2023. And we saw the watered down version. It, yeah, like you, you know what I mean? So this time, a lot of people are assuming, because we have leaks, we have reports, we have rumors. So some people think that it's not going to be a playable mission. Some people think that they're just going to mention it in the game. Might use like a real world uh, Trade Center video uh, as a cutscene. They might do that. I think uh, realistically that's what they're going to do. Worst case scenario, they're just going to mention it right like maybe show a picture on the newspaper in the game in a cutscene for a brief second or two that's it that's like the worst case scenario realistically show us the video from real life best case scenario you get a full-blown mission in 4k which i don't think that's happening now here's the question do you want to see this happen in the game one if yes two if not and, and the answer is going to be different for a lot of people now personally i believe i was five years old when that happened so this did not impact me. I mean, it impacted me. Of course, it impacted a lot of people as well. Uh, a lot of people were targeted with racism and all that. Yeah, it yeah, it affected a lot of people, okay? In that aspect, it did. But, but, but you know what? Like, some people that live in New York City, uh, some people that might have witnessed this with their eyes maybe their loved one a loved one passed away in this incident their their answer would be different absolutely so i i, I don't know what's your answer and uh, again some people would be like it's just a video game bro just do it that's kind of like more of my take but i understand like everybody got different opinions so it's like yeah uh, how do you feel about this one in the game uh, one in the chat if you want to see a mission like that too if not I, I personally feel like that if they do it it would be crazy i, I would i would want to see it for sure because it's a video game, dog, it's a video game, but I understand if you're gonna say no, uh, but but even if you say yes, I don't think we're gonna be getting like a full-blown mission though, you know, you feel what I'm saying? All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo, let's get to the climax now. Tone down just a, a little bit, you know, maybe just uh, a limiter on multiple jumps in a row. I think one jump, maybe two max is good, but to see... All right, first and foremost, let's look at our boy Thunder here. Oh, speak of the devil. I, I love Thunder, he's been a friend of mine for, God, like two decades now. Nearly two decades, but uh, I just can't I can't jive with this take. Like, if you want Play X Defiant to add kill streaks, X Defiant Alerts as well wants kill cams like Call of Duty. Uh, let's also kind of segue into right away here. I feel like X Defiant needs kill streaks and score streaks. I feel like a simple UAV would go such a long way in matches. Just feel like I'm not working towards anything. Oh, uh, you want UAV? What kind of UAV you want? A a a a a a a a a a a a You want that kind of UAV, bro? I don't know if he wants that kind of UAV. Do you want that? Do you want that kind of UAV, bro? The middle of a match. How do you feel about this? And he got 3K likes on it. But I had to just respond here and uh -oh. 
I, I don't know. I disagree. I disagree with Thunder and Raid. No, I, I feel like that. No, I'm personally like, if they do it cool, if they don't do it cool, because I'm not like super heavy into X Defined right now. I need to play more. I played a couple of matches so far. It's uh, it's alright, you know, it's alright, it's alright. But uh, I wouldn't call it a Call of Duty killer because on both spectrum, people are just losing their mind. It's just a game, dog. Just take it easy, bro. It's just a game. I don't think it's trash. I don't think uh, it's a Call of Duty killer. I don't think it's gonna last. Quite honestly, I don't think it's gonna last more than three months, unless, 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 unless the uh, fix the game, uh, fix these issues, add content, 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 promote the game, promote the game, promote the game, then it's gonna last. But if they don't do that, it's not gonna last, right? Guys, I'm being truthful here. I don't hate the game. I played a couple of matches and I feel like that I'm gonna play a lot more because my real life friends are also playing the game. And quite genuinely, I wanna see an alternative. Yeah, that's where I, I, I was gonna put it. X Defined is a Call of Duty alternative. It's not a killer. It's not a Call of Duty killer. It's an alternative. And this is where I stand. I, I feel like that we need more games. We just need more good games right now because games, uh, nothing going on in gaming right now. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, I was going to say, I think, yeah, it wouldn't hurt uh, uh, for us to see kill streaks. I think if they do kill streaks or score streaks, yeah, it, it's fine. Like, I, I would take that rather than not taking it. Uh, but some people would disagree. I guess he disagrees, which is fair. I mean, it's not Call of Duty. It, it is. Uh, they're trying to be, but. It's not, I guess. But I, I think it, they should do it. Yeah, why not? Here. The UAV are the splinter cell guys with the global radar ability. Keep streaks out of this. Will only hurt objective play. Cosmetic streaks like reactive gun camo and effects would be- But already I'm not seeing people play the objective though. Be cool. But streaks in these powerful abilities and ults will be too much. I feel like the health regeneration takes forever. So I feel more inclined to rock Libertad to even have a chance in gunfights. But I hear you. And I say the radar wall hacks are global, though, so the whole team gets them. And for that matter, a, you know, a friendly Libertad will heal you just by being near them. Because it's a, it's a, this is a very team-oriented shooter, much more team-oriented than Call of Duty. Think uh -huh. of this more like Overwatch and not COD, and it makes more sense. Teamwork and everyone running different factions is key. And Rich says, yeah, that makes sense. And to be fair, I haven't played with a whole squad that actually uses different factions and have different roles. So it would probably be a better experience. Then there are guys like this. I had a tweet kind of go off on Twitter and get a, a good amount of likes. And this guy says, dude, you got to stop with the X defiant glazing. The game is not great. Kills give you no dope. And the net code is horrendous. Like the worst I've seen. It's a cheesy shooter. Black Ops Cold War is a way better game. And it was. Yeah, give him some math. Give this brother some math right now, bro. He will, he will get that dope, though. Yeah, I, I think that's what it means. <laughs> yeah, what we do. <laughs> and, and, and everybody has the right to their opinions. Everybody has a right to their opinions. So, okay, okay, fair. Let's move on. It was made on. in 18 months or something. Yeah, I'd rather teabag a live bear trap than ever play Cold War multiplayer again, but you do you, buddy. I'm sorry, guys, but the only way kills give you no dopamine in this game is if you're not fucking getting kills in the first place. Tell me when I'm telling lies. This is actually, and I'm not just saying this, this is actually one of the most satisfying shooters I've played, personally, at least in the last, like, decade, as far as, like, how kills feel, especially multi-kills. It gives me that old-school kind of Halo vibe, you know? Uh, where you get the announcer saying, like, double kill, triple kill, and all that. And this- Yeah, you know what, like, um, I I've only played, like, a couple of games, and, uh, I played it without sound, because uh, I, I just, I love playing FPS games, like, you know, I would hop on Nuketown 24-7 and watch, like, a YouTube video or a podcast in the back. I like playing like that, right? How many of you guys do play without sound, uh, or how many of you play with full sound on, you know, <laughs> fully, like, concentrating, fully focusing to the game you're not even focused at that point you're like in the monitor how many of you guys actually play the games while being inside the monitor that's like no life in it right uh, i want to know where you at with it but the last time when i got like the same level if not more satisfaction by getting kills in a game was battlefield 3 medal of honor 2010 minus call of duty minus call of duty yeah call of duty i would say black ops 2 oh absolutely absolutely black ops 2 you, you nothing can come close in terms of multiplayer for for me for me black ops 3 for zombies although i enjoyed black ops 3 multiplayer as well but i prefer black ops 3 for zombies only uh so yeah zombies ultimate satisfa satisfaction all the way back in black ops 3 multiplayer wise i gotta pick my boy black ops 2 110 percent bro this game it's a little bit simpler you get the medals and stuff but there's this little like tempo sound in the background that goes higher in pitch when you chain kills together so you'll kill somebody it'll go like dun, and then the next one's like dun. Dun, okay. dun, dun, you know, it keeps going up. 
I think that with the higher amount of health in this game, if you're knocking motherfuckers out pretty quick, you're getting headshots, and the headshot sound is beefy and juicy, and I enjoy it. I think the guns feel good. There are other people out there saying this game feels clunky. Guys, I, I swear to you, right hand to God, I don't know what in the hell these people are talking about. Are they are they paid by Activision just to hate on this game? This game feels smooth as silk to me. Now, granted, I'm playing on PC, I'm playing on controller, and I'm playing at go. 144 FPS, as yeah, you can see up there in the upper left-hand corner. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is the leak uh, we have gameplay leaks going around about the september 2001 black ops 6 not sure if you guys got to see that video or not check this video out if you already seen it then check out the video on the left because they want every game being woke and they confirm that